بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا رسول الله وعلى آله وصحابته ومن والاه ما بعد رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي يقول الحق تبارك وتعالى يا أيها الذين آمنوا قوا أنفسكم وأهليكم نارا وقودها الناس والحجارة الحمد لله We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in continuation with our reminders with regard on how to bring our children rightly to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and so that in return they can please us the most important thing we said it is to fill the heart of the children with the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the love of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In doing that, teaching them that whatever you do, expect the rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the rewards of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are great and the best reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not only that Allah will bless you in this life, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless you with the eternal life which is Jannah. Which is extremely important. Secondly, we need to teach our children We need teach your child Teach your child to love the Sahabas of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam It's very important It will have a great effect eh? Within their life the Loving the Sahabas of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Tell them Watch with them Sit with them Read the seerah of the Sahaba of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so that they can be good example to them. Qudwa, the Sahaba, to tell them or watch a movie at home. There are so many movies made with regard to the Sahabas of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Regard Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Siddiq radiyallahu anhu, Sayyidina Umar, Sayyidina Uthman, Sayyidina Ali, min al-Ashra al-Bashirin bil-Jannah, all these uh, the, the ten Sahabas were guaranteed to go to Jannah. Watch the movies, what they have done in life, so that tell your child that we can copy these good, good qualities because these Sahabas of the Prophet Sallallahu Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala was happy with them. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala was pleased with them. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala uh, guaranteed them Jannah. Therefore, fill the heart of your child with the love of the Sahabas. Wallahi, if they love the Sahabas and make them to be good example to them, you are successful. Because the Sahabas are Allah-fearing people. Allah, these are the people who are um, always truthful and always trustworthy and always fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are the guided people who had the guidance of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa first hand. They are brought up with the guidance of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa So therefore, very important, your child should know the seerah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa very important that if he knows that the Prophet ﷺ has gone to a different length, sorry, to a long length to bring me the deen, to guide me and see how much the Prophet ﷺ has struggled to bring the deen and the seer of the Prophet ﷺ that he was honest, the Prophet ﷺ was truthful, the Prophet ﷺ was helping people, the Prophet ﷺ never lied in his life, the Prophet ﷺ was there for everybody eh, with good manners and akhlaq. Therefore, if you tell them, if we copy these people, we'll be successful. But in return, no, otherwise, if we tend to leave them, leave that gap empty within their heart, you don't fill it with the love of the Sahabas, the love of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that empty gap, you must know that it will be filled. Either that child will love the footballers, or they will love the movie stars, or one day you will see your child putting a line here, next day a hair, is this um, uh, Mohican? Uh, the, the next day there is another hair here, whatever they do, they will copy them. Therefore, Qudwa Hasana, for them, 
لقد كان لكم في رسول الله اسوة حسنة. The Prophet وسلم, Allah سبحانه وتعالى said he is the best example. The Sahabas of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم were imitating him. They were taking all these beautiful akhlaq from the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and practicing it. Therefore, one of the most important thing, if you do not know it, if you do not know the seerah, they are written in so many different languages. There are movies that you can sit with your children and watch about the Prophet Sallallahu life, about the, the wives, if, if you have girls, the wives of the Prophet Sallallahu the Prophet Sallallahu as a father, the Prophet Sallallahu as a husband, the Prophet Sallallahu as a friend, the Prophet Sallallahu as a leader, and the Sahabas also. What they have done to bring this deen to us with good akhlaq, good manners. Huh? And if we teach our children that way, Wallahi, we will be happy because when they are copying the Prophet Sallallahu how he used to wear, how he used to sleep, how he used to talk, talk less, listen more, and good akhlaq, good manners, and respecting the parents and everything, Wallahi, you'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy the fruits. The, but if yourself do not know the seer of the Prophet Sallallahu uh, Alaihi you do not know the, 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 the seer of the Sahaba, you will not be able to love them. You will not be able to love them because you do not know them. If you know them, you will love them. Wallah, and if you love them, you will love doing all the good deeds. Eh? Therefore, one of the most important things that we've said in helping our children is teaching them to love Allah and the Prophet and to love the deen. And the only way for them to love is to teach them the rewards of doing it for example you tell them if you pray five times a day allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless you with jannah you cannot enter jannah until you have the keys and the keys of jannah is salat if you fast allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take you far away from the hellfire the punishment of the hellfire and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's rewards of fasting is great is jannah ar rayyan one of the doors of jannah is ar rayyan it, no one enters except those people who are fasting so if we teach them these things Wallahi will be successful and we'll be happy. But if in return you leave that box empty and the dunya and shaitan and the love of materials, the love of games and the love of superstars, the love of footballers enters the heart in the wrong environment, do not be surprised if your children are growing up to be something that you might not be happy with. And you will be asked in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala one day because you have not fulfilled that responsibility correctly. And also, one of the most important things that will help you in upbringing the children, kun salihan, you have to be good yourself. Yahfadhuka Allahu fi awladik. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take care of your children. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will guide your children if you are guided. There was this person, he was smoking. And he's got this little child with him going to madrasa. He said to so so, take him to madrasa because if he's outside, he will learn how to smoke. He was smoking and he was eating mira or he's eating khat, huh? chewing. And he was saying, he was holding his hand to take him to the madrasa. And he said to one of the people who are going to the masjid, he said, take him there because if he's outside, he will learn how to chew and how to smoke. While you, the parent, is smoking and chewing, what kind of example are you giving? A wrong example. Therefore, one of the good people, the previous people, the previous ummah, Salafuna Salih, he said to one of his children, I am trying to be so good myself so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes care of you and guide you because I am your mirror. You will look yourself, you will take the qualities, my qualities, and you will be representing what you learn from me. Therefore, فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ أَيُّهَا الْأَبَاءُ لِيَحْفَظَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ أَوْلَادَكُمْ We should fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to take care of our children. One of the most important thing is you, if you want your children to pray, you start praying. If you want your children to read the Quran, you should read the Quran. If you want your children to love the Sahabas, to love the Prophet Sallallahu to love them, deen, you should start doing it and you will see the fruit they will follow. 
But if you're not doing it, telling them, I always tell them to pray. I always tell them to do this. I always tell them to do that. But when they see you the time of Adhan, Hayya ala salat, Hayya ala al falah, you are not making an effort to go to the masjid. How are you expecting the child when they grow up to go to the masjid? And if you are not waking up for Salat al Fajr, you are disrespecting Salat al Fajr. As salatu khayrun min al nawm. Prayer is better than sleeping. If you are ignoring those messages um, of the call of, uh, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ta'ala and the call to salat. If you are ignoring them, therefore, how do you really expect your child to follow those calls? It is almost impossible. One of the most important thing also in upbringing our children, kunu qudwatan hasanatan salihatan li abnaikum. Be a good example, good example to your children, and you yourself take your example from the Prophet Sallallahu and the Sahabas. If your example is from the Prophet Sallallahu and the Sahabas and that is what you're passing to your children Wallahi you'll be successful but if yourself if yourself your example are footballers your example are movie stars your example um, uh, singers and all these things do not be surprised because what you are probably your children will be very similar to you if you are a doctor most likely you'll see the children learning to be a doctor if you are a footballer the children will try to be a footballer. If you are a drug dealer, the children will try to be drug dealers because they will think this is the right way to go. Therefore, one of the most important thing, make sure you are a good example to your children. This will help them. This will help them greatly. Huh? If you fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you are good, if your salat is correct, if your sadaqah is correct, if you are trustworthy, if you tell the truth, Huh? Um, uh, uh, the children will grow that way they'll be telling the truth they'll make sure that they take care of the salat they'll make sure that they do not lie they'll make sure that they're praying salat in the masjid because you're doing it you're waking them for salat al-fajr to go to the masjid but wallahi in return if you are lying if you are cheating if you are involved in disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala probably in alcohol probably in stealing probably in doing zina and all these things and you should know that your children are watching you they are watching you and taking that example they are learning from you not only that you will get the sins of what you're doing you will also get the sins for what you're teaching your children therefore it is extremely important because if you are a liar if you are a dishonest and you are showing that example to your children that you can just lie to people that you can just take people's thing that you can just cheat this way that you can just do that therefore do not be surprised if they do similar thing because the children are always looking at their parent it is extremely important that we should fear allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and try to be a good example um, بكم يتأثرون, they will follow your footstep يمشون, in the way that you are walking they will follow that way so if you want them وعندكم يأخذونه ويتركون. in following your uh, your guidance they will leave certain things because they say they are haram. You taught them that this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will punish you. That if you do these things, if you lie, if you cheat, if you do this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's punishment is the hellfire. If you do not fast, if you are disobedient to your parents, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will punish you with the hellfire. We cannot stand, let alone the fire of akhirah, the fire of this world. We cannot do uh, withstand it. Therefore, the likelihood that will put um, uh, fear in their heart. The, the, not only to fear out of love they will not do it no, to, to disobey you and disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala one of the most important thing teach your children to do good teach your children to do good whenever you are doing something teach them if you want to give sadaqah give to your child give this to these children who are poor if we give them allah will bless us in this life allah will give us in jannah allah will make our sadaqah grow huh? take them to the masjid you tell them that one salat that we, we pray at home and the salat that we pray in masjid is 27 times therefore the prophet ﷺ said if you pray salatul isha in jama'ah in the masjid you will get the rewards of standing half of the night and if you pray salatul fajr in jama'ah in the masjid uh, you will get the rewards of standing all night 
and the daughters make sure they're waking up also they are your responsibilities allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said ya ayyuhalladhina amanu qu anfusakum save yourself wa ahlikum your family members naran save them from going to the hellfire therefore when they're waking up wake them up to pray salatul fajr make sure the mother is leading the salat they're praying in jama'a at home make sure the mother is taking her role praying her role in helping you to bring the children watch the movies made about the wives of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam how should she grow up your daughter to be fearful to be the right mother to be the right daughter to you um, and also to be the right wife and to be the right mother for the next coming generation because if you install those things and teach them about the seerah of the sahabiyat the, 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 the wives of the prophet sallallahu the, the, the sahabas of the prophet sallallahu ladies sahabas of the prophet sallallahu who have sacrificed who have given so much who have lived a beautiful life the, um, that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed them with jannah therefore it is extremely important the heart of the child is an empty and beautiful similar to diamond do not make it dirt with filling it with bad example and bad thing for in our del khaira huh if it becomes regular in doing the khair the good things and you teach them nasha'a alayhi wa sa'ida fi dunya wal akhirah the child will grow in doing that khair and the child will be successful in this life and the life after here one of the most important thing to finish this inshallah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sometimes will just guide your children it is extremely important that you put a lot of effort and you make dua sometimes allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will just test you you cannot do much allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said inna ka la tahdi man ahbabta walakin allah yahdi man yasha nabiyullah nuh he had his own child he's worked on him so much and he's tried to guide him he's a prophet of allah nuh huh? um, uh, he's tried to guide him and the child ended up dying as a non-believer it was not possible this was a test for him it is also the guidance allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only gives to him whom he wants um, uh, even the prophet sallallahu alaihi uncle abu lahab huh? he was the uncle of the prophet sallallahu alaihi the prophet sallallahu alaihi was spreading guidance he was spreading deen to people from different countries it has even reached us his own uncle huh? uh, his own uncle has not been blessed with that iman with the kalima la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah therefore the guidance comes from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you do your best and make dua leave the rest to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala look at the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam as an example when he was in the stomach of his mother when the mother was pregnant the father passed away therefore the the the, the, the father was not there and then when he was only six the prophet ﷺ mother passed away therefore no father no mother and then he was brought up by family members his grandfather his uncle who brought him up but the prophet ﷺ look at how he became by the guidance of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he was the best example huh? sometimes it doesn't depend on the family sometimes it is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala therefore we should always and every night win sujood in your salat whatever you do make dua to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide your children and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inshallah will guide them in this life and after here inshallah just to finish with what we've said in the last couple of reminders make sure when you're making dua make positive dua to your children do not cast them very important make sure that you are teaching your children to love allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and love the prophet sallallahu whatever you are teaching them to do to do it for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the rewards tell them it is in akhirah and in this life and you'll get jannah inshallah ta'ala teach them how to love the sahabas of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam because if he follows them if they become um, um, the, the uh, uswa uh, the guidance qudwa therefore they'll succeed in this life and also you need to be good and fear allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be a very good example the whatever example you're going to be the children will follow if it is good you will be rewarded if it is bad you will be punished by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and also 
uh, very important uh, that we teach our children teach them to do good and every good that they do tell them the rewards of it we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us inshallah in this dunya and in akhirah and to bless us and bless our children wa sallallahu ala sayyidina muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam